Apparently there's a lot of bullshit going on with Sega. Um, I saw a couple of articles or a couple of um, hearsay about what's going on exactly, but I figured that, you know what, I'll read exactly what's going on in a video that I do later on. So I want to give a shout out to Eros Mayori, Mayori? Mayoral, whatever, however you pronounce it, you know, I'm really bad with these pronunciations, but um, um, Eros actually linked me to the article first, or an article at least that was covering the whole Sega fiasco first, so I want to give a shout out to you. This article link will be in the description below, so you can go and check that out yourself. It's Game Informer, so you know it's got to be legit. So, once again, thank you Eros. Anyway, so we're going to take a look at this right now, because everyone was hitting me up on Twitter today telling me that there's something outrageous going on at Sega right now, and I'm not exactly 100% sure if I'm ready for this. Everyone's saying that it's something that's game changing, and game changing and Sega are two things in a sentence that I don't like to hear because everything that they took on as game changing usually ends in a fiery disaster. So I'm just having my fingers crossed as I read through this article. Let's see what's going on together. If you haven't heard about this yet, then this will be news for you as well, too. Sega to cut jobs as it restructures with more attention on PC and mobile games. I did hear about Sega firing people, I think it's 300, because I saw on Twitter, but I mean, I did not know that it was going to be a shift in focus on platform as well too. More attention on PC and mobile. Okay, so Sega announced today that it plans to cut a significant number of jobs in an effort to restructure its business. The company will also be departing its San Francisco location to relocate to Southern California. Damn. In a notice to investors, the company says it will solicit pro approximately 300 employees for early retirement, which will include related benefits. Well, you know what? That's good news. It's not exactly them being fired, per se, as much as it is just them. Well, yeah, it is in a sense. I mean, they're not really being fired, so to speak, but forced retirement, and they're still giving them the benefits, I suppose. I guess that's better than just cutting them off with a the dickhead, I suppose, right? Um, cuts will not be limited to the early retirement offer. However, other con employees and contractors will be impacted. Sega says that this measure will help it restructure into three business groups. The publisher will be refocusing its gaming business on PC and mobile, although not necessarily to the exclusion of console gaming. Sega now owns Relic and Creative Assembly, giving it strong position on PCs. The company projects net sales of 370 billion yen, or $3.14 billion, slightly down from the close of fiscal 2014. Net profits are targeted to drop significantly, though. The company expects yen for billion, three to three million dollars, um, down from 30.7 billion and 260 million dollars. Oh my God! Damn! All right, so it seems like Sega is really going through one hell of a change. One take. It's important to note that in a news release, Sega says that the full impact of the layoffs will not be known until they are complete. The 300 voluntary retirement solicitations are just the beginning, but with the closure of the San Francisco office and relocation. The numbers could be significantly higher. Contractors aren't typically reported in layoff numbers either, although they are mentioned specifically in Sega's investor note. As for the prioritization of PC and mobile, it would be a mistake to assume that Sega is getting out of the console business entirely. Of course, damn sure right they wouldn't be getting out of the console business entirely. But I can see some people hearing this news and being like, oh shit, well, Sega's throwing the towel and it's over, it's a wrap. Nowhere does the company suggest that instead identifying it as a growth area. Other thoughts, our thoughts are with those waking up to find out that they may be losing their job or asked to move their families. Damn, man. Yeah, all right, so this is pretty serious. You know, even though this isn't necessarily the worst kind of thing that could happen that a company could do, like Microsoft, where they just fired employees without anything, Sega is still taking a very, a more murky path here because, you know, letting off that many people, 300 at one time, I think that's kind of big considering that they're not exactly the biggest company themselves. They have a San Francisco office, but they're moving to Southern California. So that's big news. As I said, a lot of people are probably going to have to move with their families to that new location, which is sad. But I don't think everybody should be worried necessarily about this affecting, you know, future games like the Sonic franchise, you know? Sega did say that they're going to focus more on the PC and the mobile um, section of gaming, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to totally ignore the consoles. That would be a foolish move to make at this point since console gaming is so prevalent in our society nowadays. PC gaming, a lot more relevant as well too due to the fact that, you know, PC is the master race. And I'm not just saying that off of preference, I mean PC plays every game the best, you know. But still, the fact that they're focusing more on that, that's actually a good thing, you know. You don't necessarily see too many Sonic games released on PC, and I know Sega does a lot more than just Sonic. but. 
you know, this is gonna be a really good opportunity. I think Sega has a really nice foothold in the mobile market right now, or maybe not even a foothold, but they had some success in the mobile market. A lot of the Sonic releases recently have been in the mobile games department, so it looks like it could be a profitable venue for Sega. I think that that's a good solid move to make. The PC venue, a little bit more questionable, but Sega has been known to have really, um, really strong PC releases in the past, so I don't think this is going to be something that people should be worried about. There's some people that are going insane about this, thinking that Sega is abandoning Sonic, they're abandoning. Don't read into it too much. All Sega is saying is that we are taking on more responsibility and more initiative in the PC and mobile gaming field. Our console performance won't really be affected by it, but that's the problem. As much as we would love to think that Sega can divide their resources evenly between console, PC, and mobile, which are all three massive behemoths of industries in themselves, mobile industry is a behemoth, the, the PC industry is a definite behemoth, and the console industry, of course, behemoths. So the thing is, is that how are they going to be able to split their resources to be effective in each of those categories by firing 300 employees? You see what I mean? It doesn't really make too much sense here. If you are if you want to be more efficient, you gotta make sure you have more manpower, but maybe these positions weren't exactly contributing towards the manpower that they needed in order to be efficient in those three categories of gaming platform. That could very well be the case, but it doesn't sound like it because 300 is a large number of employees, man. And if you're letting all those people go, you may wind up a little bit understaffed, a little bit under-muscled when it comes to making those juggernaut titles that you're planning on doing for all three of those platforms. So you know what? I hope Sega knows what they're doing, man. Because we all know that Sega has a history of making some bad decisions. Sonic Boom on the top of the goddamn article for that very reason. Sega is notorious for bad business practices, bad decisions, horrible consumer judgment. I'm just hoping this one is not one of those. Or it could very well mean the end of Sega. Wow, I can see where people are going ominous with this now. At first I wasn't, but now I can see it. Sega, I hope you got your shit together. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.